Hi friends, welcome back to another Renee's Corner video. I'm Tanisha Renee, and today we are going to be talking about final exams. And so I'm going to group this video with sort of like my other clinical psych debunked videos. So if you have any clinical psychology questions, leave those below and I will do another clinical psychology debunked video for it. I haven't done one since the summer of 2020. And yeah, I like doing them. I like sharing this kind of information. And so if you have any like clinical psych broad questions be sure to leave those below and I'll answer them on camera on the channel because that's what I do here okay so I just want to put this disclaimer about um, final exams so this is how the final exams have been for me and in my experience but you know you might go to a different grad school and the final exams might be completely different and so I just want to say that up front because I don't want you to be like Tanisha lied to me about grad school when it could be very different at your university. So, yeah, I'm trying to think where to start. So somebody first asked, how do the exams compare to undergrad exams? And I feel like undergrad exams are very straightforward. They're asking you the questions and it's kind of like memorization. They ask you the questions, you give the information and that's really it. Like there's not really any there's not really any in-depth questions. So I had one class that really had applied questions, but otherwise undergrad was just like, memorize these facts, give the answer, and that's all I really wanna make sure that you do. You know the like basic facts. But in grad school, I feel like, I think I've said this before in other videos, grad school is really, really in-depth. Like they really want you to get into the nitty gritty. It's not so much about memorization, but they really want you to learn the concepts, understand like why X goes before Y, why Y goes before Z, like really understand the processes of things, the underlying mechanisms. And then with the exams, they really, really wanna understand your line of thinking to make sure that you're understanding these things correctly. So I feel like there's a big difference between memorization and like deep understanding of content. And so I feel like all of my exams in grad school have been deep understanding of concepts and content sort of exams. So the first type of exams and probably the most common are essays. I write so many essays in grad school. Like I used to think that I didn't like to write and I went to grad school and I was like, yeah, you're gonna have to get over that girlfriend because you're writing a lot. I feel like almost all of my classes, a lot of my classes are essay-based exams and or assignments. Like sometimes the professors don't even call them exams and they're just like, these are written assignments that um, you'll have to do for your test. And so what they do is they will like, give you so like for clinical intervention they'll give you some symptoms and they're like or no for psychopathology they'll give you some symptoms and they're like what could this patient be presenting with and you're like i don't really know but you really have to like go through your thinking like this patient has this is and this here are the differential diagnosis that i think would be applicable here is some like theory that goes along with why i'm thinking this is applicable and really just like getting like taking this applied question and like sort of like, it sort of feels like word vomit of like information about this like concept. So that you really um, display to your professor that you understand the concepts. And so like psychopathology, all essays, clinical assessment, all essay um, questions, clinical interventions, essay questions, sports psychology, essays, um, I'm trying to think what else classes. Clinical, child interventions, and assessment essays. I actually don't even think we had any exams in that class, so I'm gonna count the essays and stuff that we learned there as those. And so it's really, really like essays based on these applied concepts and making sure that you have a deep, thorough understanding of concepts. I feel like I keep repeating that, but that's really the main thing. And so, yeah, sometimes the essay questions are basic knowledge, like with clinical assessment, we did have some questions that were like, when was the WISC founded? What does the WISC test? What sort of are the domains that the WISC uh, gives you? These are like IQ tests. Like what are the domains and types of intelligence? What's the theory of intelligence that goes along with the WISC, blah, blah, blah. So it's really making sure that you have a thorough understanding like forward and backwards of the knowledge and content that you're supposed to learn. 
The second type is applied finals. I don't really get these as often in grad school. I think stats was one and research methods was kind of, but it was kind of short answer essay. So statistics, they basically gave us a bunch of stats problems and we just solved them. With my statistics class, we were using R and so we were like, uh, showing that we knew how to use R and also knew how to do these statistical tests and we're really tested on like can we explain what it is that we're showing from these statistical results and then yeah so I guess the other thing is that in grad school I've had exams both ways I've had them take home exams and then I've had them in person exams and the in person exams they often give us the questions ahead of time. And so like my clinical assessment class, they gave us the questions and they were like, okay, these are the ones you need to study. And then on exam day, I'll randomly pick two. And then we just wrote to those two in exam day. I think research methods was in person, but like other classes, they'll do take home so that you can really, you know, do a good job and do a thorough job because with the age we are in now, like how much research are you really doing like where you won't have access to other information and so I feel like grad school is moving towards you know those sort of um, tests because like we are in like an information generation and so like it like I can't even that's not true I usually don't know references off the top of my head like I can see it I know who kind of wrote it but like I'm not gonna be able to be like Cohen at all 1963 like that's probably made up. I don't even know if that's a real reference, but I'm saying like in real life, you wouldn't have to do that. And so our exams sort of reflect that. So I hope that was clear. I feel kind of like all over the place, but I feel like those are the main types of exams I've had, just really essays and then this sort of like applied final exams. Um, but it's really, really about just your thorough knowledge and the depth of content. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this was a short and sweet video. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you have any questions about clinical psychology, if it's like something that I can answer in a video, I will, so leave those down below. If you have any other comments or any other types of exam styles that you've seen, leave those below in the comment section. Um, and I guess that's it. Peace out, I love you all so much, bye.